on our way home from Ollie's tournament. Got the deuce, finished second. Uh, you know, kids say when they get down in the dumps, they get booting the ball around in the first couple innings. Um, and then it spirals out of control. They did the best they could. They played good. Got to work on their fielding this week. I think I heard the coaches talking about that. Oliver played pretty good. Uh, I think he only made one error, right? One small little error, throwing error. But you played great. You were great running the bases. It was, a, it was an error because um, I threw it. It was a little off, but then the runner plowed right through it. That's true. That's true. And I told you in that other game, your throw to home was the right throw. You made a long throw, and you were just a little bit off the mark. That wasn't your fault. That was still the right play, by the way. Uh, I know you're a little upset because you didn't get the guy home, but it was a good throw, a little off the mark, but that's all right, and it was the right move. So, uh, Ollie finished second. His team finished second, but they played good. They played good. We were playing at Noodle in the third basement. Did you? Yeah, that's true, too. Ollie was running the bases, saved his team some runs. Now, uh... Unfortunately, you needed more than that. <laughs> so, the other team played very well. Very well disciplined and, and played very well. So, a good game all around. Ollie got the deuce. Um, you guys are lucky you have any videos this weekend. What happened was last night at Flamborough, my, my phone, my other phone, uh, this is my old phone that you're watching me on. The other phone has always been very durable. I have a pretty good case on it. Um, it fell from a ledge and hit a piece of wood and I think it hit it cracked the corner of the screen which I hate anyway but then the bottom of the screen wouldn't work it wouldn't work at all I turned it off all night I turned it on and I just was able to upload all the videos as blank and then go in and edit them afterwards so I was worried I put my sim card into my old phone this phone and none of the videos were there so I, I almost had a little panic attack because there's a good two, well, I don't know, there's got to be two, two and a half hours worth of video. Nah, I guess, no, nah, maybe an hour and a half or so. But still, it's not like I can just go in and do them again. I mean, those, you guys know how the videos are done. They're done like this. Ad lib. Anyway, um, at the track, I thought it was worth noting that uh, uh, a great race by Stonebridge Simba today. Now, Mark Beckwith did call me after and said, you were right. That horse blew a quarter crack out of his right front foot. I said, well, ever since Simba was two, if he raced better without flip-flops on, he would. But after about three, four, five, maybe six starts, you'd see him get a little tender on that right front, and then bang, he'd blow a quarter crack out. He's got, he, I bet you he's done it 10 times in his life. Um, so I don't know if he's gonna be in to go next week. Is that necessary? Um, I, I don't know if he'll be in the go next week. That is the loudest car I've seen on the highway. Oh, wow. I don't know if he'll be in to go next week, but raced some good today, did his work, went out. Always meat and potato Simba, right? Just always the, the checking line. Got the job done again today, put him on the front. Paint by numbers victory, 57 and three, and raced great. Levator last night raced good again. I thought maybe a little flat, but he was off. Remember he missed last week, so he was off a little bit. And um, I had reported to you the tiny speck of blood when they trained him on Wednesday. So um, a little flat. Could have been a number of reasons why. I'm not too concerned about any of them. We'll put him in to go at Mohawk, I think, this week coming. I'd like to look and see if there's a race for him, maybe on the one on the Monday, which would be nine days. I would be a little more comfortable on that nine days coming off a little tiny bit of mucus and blood and then a race four days later. I think I'd be a little happier racing him on the ninth day. So we'll see how that plays out. But Simba winner, Levator winner. You guys saw me win with Sailor the night before. We still have Yes racing tonight. And a horse that isn't on our system just because he had no shares for Sailor. I think it's Southwind Arturo. Somebody sent me a message said, who's this horse? Where, where'd he come from? So my buddy Mark Campbell, if any of you guys follow racing, on the east coast of Canada. Mark Campbell is a good friend of mine. He worked for me when he was a younger kid. He sent this horse up to us. He's in Dominic's barn, made a break. His first start with Scott Coulter. I've never actually sat behind the horse. Tonight will be my first voyage with him. Uh, I'm gonna warm him up last trip and then drive him tonight. And then you know what? If I'm not completely exhausted, I think I'm gonna go see Top Gun. Tonight's a Top Gun night. It is. First it was the Starbucks night. 
down at the top of it. Mm -hmm. I'm burnt to a crisp watching Ollie play baseball. Are you burnt, buddy? You got a suntan? I'm burnt to a crisp just watching you. And Addie Bear, you guys can't see her. She is, she looks like uh, she's about eight bears deep. She is exhausted, out cold in her seat. I think I could drive all the way to the other end of Ontario and she wouldn't bat an eye. That's how tired she is. She ran all day long. You might say, where are the other girls at? Uh, Ava had a recital, a dance recital today. So as Ava was dancing on a stage in Guelph, Ollie's team was dancing all over the field in, in Cambridge. Uh, a busy day in the McDonald household. But Oh yeah, Addie had a pony and thought she was gonna throw it in the woods. And that's where it still is. So, um, a good day in the McDonald household, a good day at the track this weekend for the stable.ca. The babies are certainly looking like they're ready to go. I don't know if you'll see any qualifiers next week. Now keep in mind, Silent Assassin and Cutie Cumbers first stake race. I would see for sure you're going to see Silent Assassin on June the 20th at Saratoga. Got a little bigger fish to fry with Cutie Cumber, and she was a little flat in her schooler the other day. I have to talk to the blacksmith, uh, tell him about the changes we want to make. My biggest problem is what I'm going to do this week. What am I going to do this week? Because uh, Thursday at the Meadows, I have Eldis Patrick. Remember, I told you guys Procrastinator is going to the Meadows. Noodles, as you guys call them, is going to going to Pennsylvania for Thursday as is our boy first start for Dustin Hanover. He'll be at the Meadows. So Thursday should what be about Glance? Glance should be in this week sometime I think. And Likely Glance. at Grand River, I would imagine Grand River. Yeah. Uh, the Colts go to Grand River this week for stake races on Friday. I haven't looked at the condition sheet. Maybe there's a, a condition claimer that night. I'm not I'm not really sure, Ellie. Um, so uh, those three now Friday per lucky supposed to be in the open. Right? Now, if it's only per lucky and we draw the seven hole, I mean, I, I don't think he's a tricky horse to drive. I think we could just put Dave Pallone on him, who's driven him multiple times. Ronnie Wren, any of those guys will do. I would like to drive him. I enjoy driving the horse. He's a nice horse. But if it comes down to Anthony being in Ontario schooling slash potentially qualifying babies, or Anthony being in... Uh, or Anthony being in the Meadows to drive one open trotter, it will probably be the first because Saturday, I Saturday what's wrong? Saturday I have to be in Northfield Park definitely for Sweet on Pete, who has uh, if you guys noticed this week Northfield Park has put out a press release saying that they are going to um, have. Uh, uh, stake eligible conditions written so sweet on Pete should be in Saturday night I don't know if Jason has anything more we're just getting everybody up and going now but just a full week of racing ahead still got tonight I still have Silkwind Arturo we still have yes at uh, at Northfield Park we have a ton of horses racing Monday at Mohawk and we have um, Purple Aura and want to skip a few at Scioto Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we have horses going all week. So a busy week ahead, but man, that was a busy weekend for me. Um, yeah, we'll see how it is. A little Top Gun day, a little Tom Cruise. So I will talk to you all very soon. Ollie got second. Seems like everybody else won though. So <laughs> a pretty good weekend at the stable.ca. Take care, everybody.